Yes, um, which I'm uh, deeply in love with, um, but it's my sort of uh, weekends and occasional use car, not my main car. So it, in the winter in particular, it can stand for long periods of time without being used. And I have suffered from major tyre flat spotting issues occasionally. Um, and the only way I've been able to fix that long term is to do what I've got here, which is to make four custom uh, ramps um, that uh, have got curved zones on them to match the exact curvature uh, of the tyres I've got. Um, the ones that you buy are uh, a default uh, one size fits all type of setting, but I really wanted curvature that matched the tyre uh, exactly so that I could leave the car for a long period of time without worrying about it. Um, so I've made four of these, it's very easy to do, uh, just a single substrate of, a uh, large substrate of plywood you'll see at the bottom there, and then uh, a couple of chocks of wood, in this case just bits of plywood, and then the, the, the zone in the middle is made from several layers of plywood. Uh, glued together, so I um, cut uh, two or three pieces to size sort of 10 mil thick plywood, um, glued them very, very liberally, um, masses and masses of wood glue, and created a sandwich uh, of the three pieces, and then just lowered the car down onto them until the glue had set. So uh, I guess in construction and architecture, this is called glue laminating. Um, but this worked really, really well. Uh, and then once the glue set, I just screwed the, uh, the new curved piece of laminate down, um, added another piece here to create a bit of a ramp, and underneath the whole thing there's a piece of uh, carpet, carpet tile in fact, which I've screwed on just to provide a nice easy run up so that the, the, the whole assembly doesn't slip when you drive up onto it. So I've done this for all four corners. Um, and I've run with it now for four or five months and um, I've had no flat spotting issues at all on the tyres uh, and it works a treat so I'm um, really really pleased so very easy to do uh, you're talking a sort of half an hour for each one once you've got uh, bits of scrap wood to hand um, so anyone can do it